Hey, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Ranjan and this is machine learning in cyber security video. And in my last video, I have covered what is cyber security, why we need machine learning in cyber security and what are the challenges that we have to face in machine learning in cyber security. And we have covered network device as well. If you have not watched this video, just watch this video. Here's the link. So in this video, I will cover rest of the things. So let's start. So it's a little understanding like how communication takes place between two devices as these are the ports TCP and UDP. These are the ports TCP and UDP. So it would be a source and it would be a destination. So this port would be a source port from where it is initiating the traffic and this port would be destination port to that port it is sending. If source wants to send anything to any computer or any device, it needs a destination IP and the destination port and here it would be source IP and the source port. I will give you an example. We open a google.com. So it has some IP address. Suppose it has 8.8.8.8. By the way, it is DNS server, but I'm taking example. Suppose it's a web server. I am opening to google.com. So it would respond at 80. If in case of HTTP, in case of 443, it would be HTTPS. So whenever I will open a request from my computer to google.com, it will hit at the 80 port and the 443 port. So this is the port number. This is the destination port number. And here I would be having some random source port number. It could be anything in case of HTTP source port could be anything. And I would be having some IP address here. I'm directing this traffic to google.com. Here it is 8.8.8. .8 suppose this is a sender and this is a receiver. So this system is sending some traffic to this and suppose a person in between is listening to this traffic. So he can use this information, what information you are sending. Or suppose this is not a receiver. This is not an actual receiver. This is an attacker. So it could get entered into our system. So this is the way that uh, it needs IP address and the port. And now we have very important term which is DIKW pyramid. It is data information knowledge wisdom. And in cyber security we have three key terms which is protect, assure, the manage. And these terms are related to data protection policies and the information assurance policy. You will hear these terms in a lot in cyber security. So how these terms are related to? I will explain. Like in cyber security or in machine learning. What we do? We first collect the data. Data is very random. It has all the logs. It is generally considered as a raw data. So we have to protect this data so no one can misuse it. We have to protect this data. And once we apply some analysis, some interpretation or some discussion, we got information and we have to assure this information. Once we have information, we apply some context. Once we apply some context, it will convert it into the knowledge. And we have to manage this knowledge to keep this thing secure. Then we start connecting these dots of knowledge. We have insight. And once we connect all those insights together to perform some policies, we have the wisdom. So this is DIKW pyramid. So basically these two terms DIKW pyramid and protect, assure and manage terms are getting extensively used in machine learning and in cyber security. It's a process of converting the data into the wisdom because data has no sense. It's a random data. It could be anything. We have to convert this data into wisdom. And during the conversion process, we have to keep our data, information, knowledge, everything secure. We have to protect, assure and manage. And on the basis of this, we have to define strategies. We have to define the data protection policies, information assurance policies. And why hackers are looking for the information? Why they hack? So information is critical. It's a sensitive. It is valuable. Why it is so? Because suppose if our company has some information that he has generated by doing analysis or interpretation of some product. That means our company has some important data. So they are might be competitive in this field because they have done already so much analysis or so much interpretation. So attacker might want to be competitive too. We have to keep our information secure. If we assure the information so that we are attacker cannot be competitive to, so attacker would be looking for that information. So and we have that information, so we have advantage and we have the power over the competitor. We need to implement some data science practices in order to see what is going on and what are the patterns of the attack so that we can protect our data and assure the information. So this is the CIA triad and it's very very known term in cyber security. C means confidentiality and I is integrity and A is availability. 
so confidentiality means that our information is not getting accessed by any unauthorized individual whoever has the access he is authorized to access this information so second term is integrity that ensures the attacker is not able to hijack our information or or they don't have the rights to modify the information so that our information should be as it is and third is availability so information is always available every one product of these three we have these three terms so first is we have traceability so whenever someone is modifying the information we have to keep track we have to keep the logs that who is modifying that information second is authenticity that thing ensures that this is the exact person which they are pretending to is attacker disguising himself and pretending to a legitimate user so this is authenticity and authorization so it ensures that your information is in right authorization your authorization controls are in right measures and the user who are using this information have the authorized rights and this is the analogy for the cyber security attack we, we can say it's a pipeline that every attacker follows from the reconnaissance to the discovering tracks it's a complete pipeline and these stages are very important for us we have to find the pattern because a cyber attacker will follow the patterns and we have to unveil these patterns we have to find the fingerprints that attacker is trying to cover so we can appeal them so first step of cyber security is reconnaissance so in this stage the attacker will find some information about the victim it will gather some information of the target on which attacker has to attack so suppose i am an attacker and i just want to break into your house so your house is a target for me so the first thing i need to do is identify your home i am just identify where is your home and how it looks what all the things surrounds you this is the reconnaissance so second step is scanning so now i have identify your home now i will found any vulnerability so perhaps there is any window open or there is any door open or any seal is broken so this is like a scanning or in network term i will scan the ports what what all the ports are open in your network device once i have find those vulnerability so i will make an effort for entering into those ports so penetrating into those ports or breaking into your house by using those windows and door which are open and after i will try to gain access by using by exploiting those vulnerability so i will gain access to the devices or in case of house i will gain access to your house i will break into your house so this is the third step in which i will gain the access of any network device and fourth step is to keep the access i i want to keep that access for a long time so that i can do what i want i can steal the information if i am in your home so i will keep that access for a long time so i can steal what i was looking for and fifth and last step is covering tracks suppose i have already stole something from your home so i will delete all the fingerprint i will erase all the fingerprint so that you won't be able to track me even in that case in cyber security i will delete all the logs i will just modify all the logs i will cover my fingerprint so that cyber security specialists are not able to follow me back so these are the stages in cyber security attack so cyber security attack is an attempt to expose any information or alter information destroy or steal or to gain or authorize access to any asset so we have to protect all the network device from these types of attacks what all are the applications of the machine learning or data science in the cyber security as so first is risk assessment suppose some devices are exposed to internet and some device are not exposed to internet so some are having a less risk and other are having a high risk so we can create a cluster by using machine learning algorithms and we can use digital forensics so to search for the traces to search for the fingerprints in the file modification and the information violation we have the spam filtering and it is getting very used in this we use machine learning deep learning with nlp natural language processing it will read the message or read the emails to detect whether it's a spam or not and phishing emails here also we will use nlp and machine learning techniques to unveil that phishing attempts in which uh, we will find that these words are looking suspicious and event correlation even in this we will find we will create some cluster by using the similar events and we will identify some common patterns and here it is network monitoring so it's a same thing like we will apply some analysis on this and we will apply the machine learning algorithms to detect some cyber attacks and apart from this we have many things uh, like uh, we can use in malware detection data leak protection 
and we can detect data exfiltration, data leak protection. We can detect the malicious JavaScript or other script by using uh, NLP because the script is a code. So we will apply natural language processing to that malicious code. We can apply anomaly detection to identify account masquerading and, and we can apply data science in cybersecurity frauds or the bank frauds, financial frauds, uh, it is very useful in those things. And this is the data set in which we will apply machine learnings. I have just taken a three logs. I have many logs. So we have a whole long data set in this data set. We have one lakh rows. So in these rows, we have the attack category, whether it's a reconnaissance exploits or many attacks fuzzing. So what is the protocol? So I have told you that each and every port, suppose six, five, five, three, five we have these many ports so each port is corresponding some protocol suppose we have 80 port number so this is http protocol if we have 443 protocol this is https so all these are the protocols so that this this is tcp or udp so these all the things we have source ip destination ip source port destination port by reading this data we will find which are the common ports which are more vulnerable which are the source IPs or which are the network device which are more vulnerable and we will detect which type of attack it is we have many data and I will show you in the next video so it's all in this particular video we have completed the theoretical part of the cyber security what is cyber security and what all the nitty gritties comes in the cyber security so stay tuned for my next video if you guys like the content of this video please like this video and do share this video with your friends and colleagues please subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed so see you all in the next video till then goodbye enjoy happy learning